Morning guys, today I'm out in remote Australia. I just camped here last night in this spot. I'm just about to walk to some really, really open big swamps and hopefully smack a few pigs with a bow today. I know you guys have been requesting it a fair bit lately, so I thought I'd come for a run and hopefully try smack a few big boars or sows. We'll see what happens, but just about to cruise down. Hopefully the pigs are on the water early in the morning having a bit of a drink from roaming around last night and yeah, hopefully can crack a few. set my bow up um you've been asking a fair bit lately what bow i'm using so i'll run through it again so i'm just using a 600 dollars bow but i bought it second hand it's a horizon vulture um this bow is 65 pound nothing special i'm due for an upgrade to something a bit better one day but this thing does get pigs and it gets them good you just got to hit them in the right spot. You got to tune it in good. And if you want to get into bow hunting and you don't have enough money to spend three grand on a bow, these bows still crack pigs. So yeah, so the thing's still running it. And yeah, it's probably got about 12 pigs on this bow now. So yeah, well, I'm just about to start walking. I'm going to head this way down into the swamp and hopefully there's a few pigs on there straight up. Oh, you can see here behind me, this is a bit of an old swamp that the pigs have absolutely turned over in the wet. But um, this is going to be a good thing for me today. It's a bit drier in the year, later in the year now, so it should be a bit drier. So hopefully every body of water is more concentrated pigs. So that means when I get down there, I'm hoping there's just going to be pigs there. But depending, like they could be still roaming and then might come in about a bit later for a drink or something. And hopefully I can get them then, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, this is the bit of destruction they do. They just turn up the ground. When the flood comes through, that just makes more turbidity and erosion, washes out into the Great Barrier Reef. And that's why we try to keep these pigs under control. Oh well, I'll keep walking. I haven't got really too far to go to hit this first swamp, so let's see if I can get one. So I've got pigs a K away. Most of this swamp has dried up, but there's a bit of grass out in the middle and stuff, so it looks like they're grazing. So it's gonna be very hard to get up close to them, but I'm gonna give it a go. Maybe try filming for you because, yeah, most of the swamp's dried up. I might have to go and hit the, hit the bigger one that might hold a more body of water. I can see the pigs over there. It's a good mob, but they're sitting right on the edge of the tree line. So I'm gonna have to go right around and try to come back onto them because there's no way I'm going across straight at them out in the open. So I'm gonna try to go around the other side. There is a big mob there. It's probably like oh, 40 pigs. Heaps and heaps of pigs. One big boar out the front. He's gonna be hard to get, but I'll cruise. I'm gonna go around in this thick bush around and try to get it. What's a, probably a K walk to get right around, but I'll try to get near them. Pigs are directly out here now. It turns out I probably should have stayed where I was. I could have come straight across the swamp to that tree line and then poked through onto them, but it's hard to know where they're going. I thought they were going to come up this way along this edge here and I was going to try to come in like that, but they've turned to go back the other way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight out here, hit that and see where they're going. And then if they keep going up that way, I'll keep poking along the bush like that and try to cut them off. Or if they go back in there, I'll just go straight across at them and hopefully get them on the backside. Because the only puddle of water on that swamp is out the back over there. Heap of, heap of eyes there. Hard, gonna be hard to get these ones.
<laughs> First pig of the morning, nice sour. Um, I was waiting down in a swamp, there was about 40 pigs there. Uh, they were coming out. I just sort of sat down, ambushed, had that big log there, just guarded me. Waited, waited, and they just looked like they were coming. They kept coming, they kept coming, they come right up to me. But the sows come over first, so I was waiting. The boars were coming, but they were too far. The sows are going to be on me, so waited for this one to turn broadside. Took my shot, whacked her the back end. She popped out the double lung on this side. Bit of a shit shot, but it was my first shot for the morning, but still dropped her up here. Woo, frothing, eh? Oh, I was standing there just adrenaline pumping, like waiting, 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 eh? I'm, I'm frothing. First pig for the day. Woo, let's keep going. That never gets old, that anticipation build up when that pig is getting closer and closer or you're getting closer to the pig you start just oh it's it's the best feeling ever words can't describe it oh well no boars yet but one little sow so i'm still pretty stoked for this morning there was oh, i'm gonna say maybe 20 pigs there when i was looking across the swamp they looked like way more but i reckon there was about 20 pigs in that mob then but i think there was only three boars the rest were sow so the odds to get a ball was pretty hard so hopefully on this next little water hole hopefully there's water in it and i can um get a big lone ball that'd be the go usually they're a bit bigger when they're by themselves there's an emu coming over i seen him just walking out in the flat there but he sort of spotted me and he's barreling down at me so i'll do the emu dance at him that emu is still hanging around, not far away from me, so see if I can act like an emu. <laughs> He's gonna come over. He's looking. Nah, he's toy on me. He's heard, he's heard me talking and stuff. He's sort of just, he's just been hanging around for about 10 minutes, just like sort of following me along, sussing out what I am. Pretty cool. Don't really see many emus in this part of Australia, but see a few every now and again so it's pretty cool to see one actually so when there are water in these big big open swamps i've heard that the pigs when they are feeding on them they are consuming a lot of native frogs and i don't know what else that lives in there maybe like little crustaceans and clams and a lot of like the grass like bulbs and stuff so but i've heard a lot a lot of frogs get eaten by pigs so that's why it's a good thing to keep the numbers down in Australia, just because they destroy and decimate a lot of native animals and they're really good for the ecosystem. But obviously there's no frogs here at the moment because she's bone dry. It's really starting to heat up now. The wind's picked up a bit too, so I don't know, the worst thing is it's up it's up my backside of me, so pushing my scent over onto the swamps. But I'm gonna go out a bit wide then come back onto it and yeah hopefully i can get a pig i'm smashing through my camel packs i got i'm gonna start reserving this because i got a fair bit of walking to do still hopefully a few more pigs today just coming up on the second swamp now bit of a walk got a little bit bushwhack trying to remember where it was on the maps but finally found it i was laying back up in there thinking it was up in there and then I sort of followed a few pig pads and cow pad, cattle pads and I've just got my first glimpse of the there's actually looks like there's water in there so won't say too much yet till we get down there but I found a swamp. Alright so I've got myself a good walk down down on the swamp here. I'm just gonna sneak in, sneak around in a bit of cover for the bush onto him. See if I can smack him up.
that was an adrenaline rush. Holy shit. Whew. There was no there was no way I could ambush like through any trees. It was just bare open. The wind was perfect, so I just had to walk straight out on the swamp. Straight out to him. I was just wait wait till he put his head under. Take a few steps, he put up, sort of look around, wait back under a few steps forward, and I got to about 30 meters of him, put a shot in. I think I put like I was aiming for the heart. I was trying to like do a quick kill shot, but it must have dropped just back, but he was stuffed. And I quickly snuck up behind, drove him, and he just dropped instantly after that. I put a good 20 meter shot in his heart. So, woo, frothing. <laughs> I'll get a photo of this fella. I think he's got a good set of hooks on him. Bo, got a nice set of hooks. One side down, the other side snapped off from fighting. So, big old stinking muddy boar, frothing. I reckon he's probably, he's got very solid pads on him. So, he'd probably be around. 85 kilo, a little solid boar, alive, I reckon. Solid pig. Ooh, frothing. That was sick. That was a sick stalk, eh? Oh, well, we'll try to get one more for the RV and then that'll be it. Bow hunting done for you guys. Big lovely cattle. I don't know luck getting pigs with them. I spook everything. Whew, she's really steaming up now. I'm just following this big pad. Pretty sure this is taking me into the, to the next swamp, so it's been pretty well used. Some fresh tracks on it, so I'll keep following this. Hopefully hit another body of water and another big boar. Oh well, I'm officially cooking. It is like roasting hot today. Definitely, definitely a change in the season. I've noticed as soon as you get closer to a, like a body of water, you start seeing roos dart off, birds, start hearing more different types of birds, like like the life is just aggregated around the water, which is an obvious obvious thing, but yeah, I just, just noticed that. So I must be getting pretty close now because I've just seen a heap of roos dart off, birds everywhere. I think I am pretty close, so keep going. I'm just coming down onto the swamp now definitely water in it so that's a good sign straight up so hopefully a few pigs hanging around a big bull run straight off so they didn't spook anything I've just got down here but there is no pig sitting on it at the moment um, might be a bit hot it's midday and usually the pigs sleep up like they don't really like it being out in the Sun and just getting cooked so I think they might be laid up so I might just chill out here for about half an hour and see if anything comes down for a drink um yeah i'm just sort of perched in behind the trees but goes all the way up it's a pretty good looking swamp but a lot of sign on the side but no pigs yet i literally just i literally just turned the gopro off and on the other side bit mob of pigs walking straight on I'll probably get around the back side of them. Boost over there, see if I can get one. The GoPro won't be able to pick it up because they're too far away, but that little mob that just come down, they've just all laid up right on the edge, but just as I've gotten around, a big boar is coming in, so I think I might keep pressing around in the thick bit of bush here, right around, come to the back side, and go for that big fella. He's, he's a good sized pig. keep walking around mob after mob after mob keep walking in there's like probably 25 pigs that just walked into the swamp it's pretty cool there's a, there's a little mob walking this way I think there's a boar hanging out the front so I might just wait to see what they do if that boar comes a bit closer I'll pluck him out but these other mobs seem to be cruising around so I might might just sneak straight out behind them trees there and wait for him to come this way was worth a walk through the swamp, pigs everywhere. This is sick, man.
hit two pigs then, got one, instantly spined it, didn't spook the mob at all. And then I hit the one, the sows spooked the mob and they sort of run. I took a, I just aimed in front of him, smacked him straight square in the shoulder. Like he, he pulled up like right on the edge and I could see him sway and he, he was done. But I've lost him, I cannot find him. It's really thick up in here. So yeah, just don't know where, where he's gone. And the, I had a good blood trail and it just sort of must be harder this, this leaf matter just dried up but i just got right here and another big mob of pigs blew out so there's some serious pig action on this swamp oh, i'll go check that one out that i spine and I'm, I, i've run out of water so i've got to head back to the car i'm already pretty dry and i've got a 4k walk so <sighs> lucky i'm like a camel eh? <laughs> oh well this is a little boar i got here he's just laying down just out there and I snuck up probably to about here, smacked him. And I was just thinking like, I was like, oh, it'd be good if I could stone him. And I sort of aimed like this side of the spine and the arrow got, I, I couldn't pull that um, broadhead back out, but the arrow went right down and smacked him in the heart. So he sort of ooh, stiffened up, kicked, and then instantly dead. Very humane kill. I've got a 4K walk back to the car. It's come back to me gear now. Oh, I'm out of water too, and I'm so thirsty. So I'm going to sort of hightail it back there, get in the AC, get a heap of water into me, and then probably cruise out of here. I had a weapon day, I three, oh, got three pigs, lost one. You get that sometimes. But um, I've probably seen about 50 pigs today, probably over 50. What a weapon day. Woo. Oh, well, I'll see you back in the car. Oh, guys, I'm back in the car now, cruising out of here. Heading back to town for a couple of beers after that. It was a weapon day. Ended up landing three pigs. Would have been four if I didn't run out of water. I would have looked around for a bit more. I would have ended up winding that little boar that got away, but would have been there somewhere. So, yeah, I'm stoked. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did, and we'll see you on the next one.